Your argument, Mark, about the skill positions will come home to roost, but I think at least at this point in the season, Notre Dame poised to be number one. It's time for some reconciliation. It's time to allow Lou just a few moments perhaps to, to expound and emote on his belief and his love for Notre Dame and what they've accomplished this season as a team. Well, they're just a very good football team. You look at them fundamentally. Let's look at the offensive line. They're better, they're experienced. Like Notre Dame's schedule. They played in the Big Ten. They're a weak conference. Unimpressive. In the way that they play week after week, just barely getting by opponents. Ugh. I don't want to wear a leprechaun suit. I mean, this guy is a great linebacker, but their front four gets tremendous pressure. Their secondary can play the ball. They get turnover. They tackle well. They stay square. All the fundamental things you want, that is a very well-coached football team and a very talented football team. Coach, you make some great points, and congratulations to you and Notre Dame on a great season. As I did have a thing to do. All I do is sit here and report. But, I mean, I can see greatness. You can't. I can. That's the only uh, difference. You know, I like, I like the fact that you guys are showing some harmony. Only one more obstacle to climb for Notre Dame to make it to the championship game. And only one more obstacle to climb before we see a six foot six, 240-pound Hall of Famer in a leprechaun suit. Oh, I, I tell you what. When it, once he puts it on. He'll feel that magic at Notre Dame has. You will be. I can't so take this anymore. I'm done with this. You come back, Mark. Mark we had such great harmony. <laughs>